Visual inspections on the rear wall of this shaft showed cracking in the shot crate. They were unsure if the entire shaft was moving, if the pillars were moving, or indeed if the entire drive was on the move. Rockfalls in this area was a massive safety concern and shutting down for rehab meant shutting down the mine and affecting production levels. So they started monitoring with the GML to try and determine what was occurring in this area. Here you can see the areas of deformation fairly structurally controlled along those cracked areas. You can see areas of tension there and in red areas of positive movement. Also, to determine cracking more, if I bring in delta coherence in this data set, you can see the cracks really standing out. So, uh, if I look at the amounts of movement that had occurred by bringing this up and changing back to deformation and selecting some of these areas, you can see that there was linear to regressive movement that was occurring in that area, but it was certainly on the move in those structurally controlled areas. Interestingly enough, other parts were stable. So, with this information in mind, they decided to do some targeted ground support to make the shafts close for the shortest amount of time possible. You can see some of the new ground support that they applied in this area, and they began to monitor again using the GML, and you can see the results immediately. It was effective ground support that stopped the movement altogether. Also, that they didn't adjust to move the stress to any other location. Operationally insignificant, but nonetheless interesting. While they were monitoring this area, they detected a small rockfall that occurred. It had about 45 minutes uh, uh, warning before it popped out, and you can see it there caught in the mesh. It's one of those unexpected benefits of monitoring an area with GML underground.